Hi everyone, GB Colleen here and today we're gonna have a look at the Miniverse Make It Mini Lifestyle series. Now I know it's been a while since these have been released but I don't know, we finally got to it so let's get cracking. Very interesting design, I guess we cannot call it a ball no more, this is definitely a capsule. Okay, and it opens I think from both sides. As usual, you get these three instructions manuals, a collector's guide, which we're going to explore in a little bit. Here we have our resin and it's supposed to imitate beeswax. We got a couple of cute little glass jars. Well, they're not actually glass, they're plastic, but they do look very realistic. Here we have a couple candle wicks and weirdly enough, we got some sprinkles. Last but not least, we have what looks to be a tray. So we're gonna use this as a base to build it, but I just wanted to let you know that the packaging, well, part of the packaging also doubles as a shelf. And let me show you real quick. You got this little thing here, it goes over here. And then you put it like, oh. And now, you know, whatever you're building, you can just display it like so which is really nice. It's a very unique way to actually display your collection. It's gonna be interesting to see if this can actually go on top, but even like this, if you put, you know, more next to each other, I think it will look really cool. I'm curious, do these act, no. I thought these would actually snap together and form some sort of, I don't know, alien ship. Let's have a quick look at the collector's guide and see what else is in the series. So very similar to the way they did the diner series and the cafe series. As you can see, some of them are saying coming soon. There's some interesting stuff here. I really like the fish tanks. The cactus also looks really cool. This one's actually better. It also has flowers. And then here we have a succulent and I really like the hanging terrariums. Those look really cool. Here are the instructions. I think it's pretty easy and straightforward. So we're putting our wicks in first, then we're gonna get the resin opened, then we pour it in. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's put some into this other one. That's pretty cool, they get two candles, you get a small one and a bigger one. We do need to save some resin for the top part and add the sprinkles to that. Now, as you can see, the wicks are kind of like leaning towards one side. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like hold them like this in the middle and then hit it with the UV light like that. All right, this one's done. This one has a little bubble there that I don't like. So we're gonna use a little toothpick to get rid of it. Now we just add a little bit of resin to the top, just a layer so that the sprinkles stick to it. You don't wanna add too much cause then you're gonna have um, the sprinkles actually sink in the resin. So now we just need to trim the wicks, but I noticed something interesting on the collector's guide. Do you see over there where the sprinkles are that they show some type of uh, symbol, so to speak, that they would be scented? Let's see, I mean, it would make sense because they're candles, right? Oh my God, they are scented. They actually smell like birthday cake. Now I know that the easiest way would be to use scissors, but unfortunately I don't have scissors with me. So I think I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife and then use this to kind of like pull it so that, you know, there's tension. Well, wait a second. I actually have here the next best thing, which is nail clippers, right? Makes sense. Oh, that is perfect. Nail clippers are even better than scissors, unless you have the really small scissors. And now all we need to do is just put them here on the tray. There we go. We have a set of candles, birthday candles or birthday scented candles. So then last but certainly not least, you can use this to display them. That looks absolutely perfect. And here on the bottom, there's also a flat base. So if you have something smaller, you can actually place it here. All right, the zippers on these are not good. We have a little gardening tool. Uh, I call it a little shovel, but I'm sure it has a different name. We have some potting soil or sandy mix, as it says on the package. Oh, we have the succulents. I actually liked these when I saw them on the collector's guide, so I'm really excited to put these together. Also, let's not forget to appreciate how creative they were with the packaging of these. Look, it's like a newspaper, and I'm not gonna take the time to read it, but I'm pretty sure they thought about everything, and even the words that they put in here and the texts are actually, you know, part of the whole experience. And then we have a very, very nice looking tray or holder for our succulents. 
We have the two little containers for the succulents. They actually look like they're ceramic. These are gonna be great. This looks interesting. Exactly the texture of kinetic sand, actually. I think that's what it is. Yep, definitely. Let me put it in here so I don't make too much of a mess. And then I think we're just gonna have to take a little bit of time. These have uh, a little bit of a base here and it's almost like a cone shape. So we're gonna have to make a hole in there. I'm thinking this tweezer cover actually works perfect. There we go, something like that. Should we put this one in there or this one? Let's just go with what's suggested on the collector's guide. Kind of want a little bit more of that sand to be exposed. I think it works if we just take a little bit at a time and just work it in there. I think I need a smaller pair of tweezers. All right, I think that looks much better. Let's put it over here and start working on this other one. I think we're gonna start with adding a little bit more this time and then we can just remove the excess. It's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so far so good. Here we go, that's pretty much it. Let's set it over here and just marvel. Oh, wait, we're actually gonna put it over here and then marvel. There we go. Now it's perfect. Remember when I told you about that flat base over here? All right, this one looks cool. I think I like it more than the candles. For some reason, it looks a lot more realistic. Oh, come on, we were so close. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, well, I guess uh, we all know what this is going to be. Oh, well, that's interesting. I thought it's gonna be a fish. Was there a fish in there? I was like, did I just throw a fish in the garbage? <laughs> well, this one's gonna be fun. All right, so we got a yellow-bellied slider. So this is our resin, fresh water. I think we're actually going to start with a little bit of water. Okay, so now, I think I messed up because these pebbles are kind of like the kinetic sand. I thought they're actually, you know, just pebbles and they just put them in there and they're gonna mix with the resin, but they're not. Uh, this is not good, but I'm gonna give it a try regardless. We're gonna add some in here and then I'm gonna try to kind of like work it around with a uh, toothpick. Okay, that's not too bad. I think it actually worked out. I'm thinking let's add another thin layer of uh, resin. The rocks look very realistic and you know why? Because they're real rocks. <laughs> So now we kind of have to think carefully about where everything will go, otherwise it will, it will not look good. Maybe a little bit more resin, because technically I will put the rocks in and then I'm going to put the turtle in and then the back end of the turtle will go in the water or the resin and that's how everything is going to be, you know, stuck together. Okay, kind of like that. Look how tiny he is. Very detailed too. I'm sorry, but I need to, <laughs> to grab it by its head. And gently, I forgot to speak. Gently press it in there. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. I mean, I kind of have an idea, but as you can see, there's one bubble over here and then one bubble over there. And it's, I mean, this is hard. So I really don't know exactly how that happened. I'm guessing when you cure the resin, right, it gets hot. And then if there's any bubbles, they're gonna try to come to the surface. Like the air will try to come to the surface. What I should have probably done is add the pebbles, add a little bit of resin, cure it, and then add the big rocks and the turtle on top of a new layer of resin. I think you can see it better now. It's a shame. It actually looked really good. I thought the placement of the rocks was great. The turtle, the way it's sitting like that. Oh well. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in myself, but let's move on to the next one and maybe I'm gonna redeem myself. Okay, we got more soil and a little shovel. We got cactus. 
or cacti. I'll look it up. No, no need to let me know in the comments. I know you guys are always helpful, but uh, yeah, these look great. Let's see what kind of pots we have for them. Oh, that is nice. This looks so realistic. It doesn't feel realistic at all because it's plastic and it's very light. It kind of looks like one of those things bartenders use, you know, for a shot to measure things, <laughs> right? <laughs> Seems that I was wrong. I thought they're both like potting soils, but one of them is potting soil and the other one is uh, pebbles. It says Rocky Mix. Let's use the turtle container for the Rocky Mix. For some reason, that was really satisfying. And then we're going to use this for the potting soil. Okay, mini versus wild, because this actually looks like soil, right? Am I tripping here? So we're gonna use the usual technique. I don't even know how these are supposed to be placed in here. Let's have a close look. Um, okay, so what do they actually suggest? Uh, no. Okay, cool. This container is actually a little bit too small in my opinion. Would have been nice if they made it bigger. I just need to add more soil now and kind of like press it in so that, you know, it holds these things in place because they're really wobbly right now. Alright, let's put a little bit on the other side as well. Sort of like that. I want to put a little bit more in there because it looks weird. But for that, I'm going to need the tiny tweezers. Oh, that was a fail. I'm making a big mess here. You really need to add a lot of soil if you want them to look good and kind of like stick together. Not stick together, but you know, be stuck in there nicely and not wobble. Plus the fact that we don't have resin. I mean, you can just grab these and pull them out, which yeah, you don't want to drop this. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's really good actually. Now we're going to get our Rocky mix. I don't think you want to add too much, but use your judgment, but it will look better if you can actually see part of the soil too. Let's see if I can get one in between them. I think I'm going to put one more over here. I need a tiny one. Something like this. Should I add more? Maybe one over there in the middle? I'm gonna try something. I think if I drop it from here. Nope. <laughs> Let's try again. I think it's too big. Or maybe I just need a different tool. That's better. What do you guys think? Should I have added more rocks or less rocks? This is a good amount, right? Because I want to see part of the soil too. There you have it. A pot of cactus or cacti. Now the thing is, obviously cannot fit it on the top shelf but i think if we remove it i think we just might be able to fit it in here on the lower side let's put it nicely over here and i think we're gonna end here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like let me know how much you love or hate these in comparison to the diner series and the cafe series from miniverse also if you enjoy my content but are not yet subscribed please consider subscribing we are getting really close to reaching the 1 million milestone and i would be absolutely ecstatic if we reach that goal before the year ends now as usual you guys stay golden and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye.